Welcome back everyone to the adventures of Queen Island the Flower, the incredibly good redeemer of the somewhat tainted dynasty with our previous character, our cursed tyrant brother that we've managed to kind of make amends for right now. Today, I think we're going to make it into a... She's a queen that I think is, is worth bowing to permanently rather than just as a confederacy. So let's try and get that standard feudal primogeniture succession ready for the next Queen Island, who is a step above our Queen Island. Oh my god, she's already ra Rowdy and Willful as well. Oh, I've got massive, massive hopes for this character. Astute, Rowdy, and Willful. She's going to be unstoppable. Now, the reason I want to start now is that we have a special title uh, available. So we have the ability to dedicate temples. As I recall, that's base game, isn't it? So can we dedicate the temple in our... Oh, we didn't have a temple in our capital, right. Um, so we've got to dedicate the ones on Cyprus proper. Let's do it. <laughs> the Orthodox? I think I'd be alright with that. I should start proselytizing. Shit. Yeah, let's actually do that. Because we might even turn this into our capital because they are a lot better than our current promises. Actually, why don't we just do that now? Why don't we buy the bullet and just move over there? Um, there's trade routes. So trade be running through our capital. I don't know if those are... Those aren't land-based trade routes, though, are they? No, unfortunately, we can't do much about that. Um, but there will still be more gold just because there's a trade route there. I'm going to move over. Let's do it. Goodbye, Crete. Friendship ended with Crete. New best friend is Cyprus. Nice. Okay. I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's the right idea, especially given that there's more potential in this province as well. Bear in mind, both of these ones, making this one our capital, Duchy 2. This is just so much better overall for the amount of, of troops and tax we'll get out of it. I think it's the right play. Obviously, we've got a few more enemies to worry about in terms of our neighbors here, but that's not too bad. Okay, then. Um, military organization. I think that's a safe bet. We should probably also go for, like, shipbuilding. Ooh, that's a hard one. Yeah, let's do it. Just give us some more galleys, just in case we do end up, you know, getting kind of a sizable retinue. Right, so let's dedicate that temple, see what happens here. So we might as well do the one in our capital proper. So dedicate temple. This temple belongs to one of the Cronid brothers. Jupiter, Neptune, or Pluto. Let the gods of war consecrate this temple. Minerva, Mars, or Vulcan. This is uh, home of a kind deity. Vesta, Ceres, or Venus. And then one of the heavenly twins. We can go for Apollo, Diana, or Mercury. Um, I guess we'll go for... Neptune, Pluto. No, let's go for... What about one of the gods of war, given that we're a martial character? It would make the most sense if we're trying to win over our vassals to go for a kind deity instead. So that's Deceres of Venus. Um, Dynasty opinion plus 10. Oh, man. I'm looking for one that would give a sort of general opinion, if that's even possible. Dynasty opinion plus 10 is not bad. Don't get me wrong. Um, we lose 250 gold, 200 piety, which is why we're able to do this now rather than, you know, beforehand where we've been spending money on our favors. I didn't know you could double check, though. Uh, favored by Jupiter. Prestige, which we need for unifying the realm. Diplomacy gives us opinion, basically. Uh, fertility plus 10% is kind of nice, too. Build cost build time is very, very good. Favored by Pluto. So, we could do a, do this over and over, couldn't we? Marshall plus 2. Wow, that's quite powerful. 250 gold. I know it doesn't last forever, but, um, we already checked all these, didn't we? And what about the, one of the heavenly twins? Apollo gives learning, you give intrigue, and you give plot discovery. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna go for Zeus. Oh, Jupiter. Sorry. We're going for Jupiter. Uh, Diplomacy plus one. Again, the national pre the prestige is exactly what we're after the month of prestige. Mainly because we want the 500 to be able to centralize it. I think that's the most appropriate one to go for. Fuck it. And we're trying to obviously convert it from Orthodox to uh, the Hellenic faith. Kill two birds with one stone. Stars as an uneasiness around... God, I can't even fucking talk, which is ironic given that we're about to try and get Gregaria. 70% chance. We didn't get it. And we may have lost health for that too. Oh, but we are apparently also a falconer. Fine. More diplomacy is fantastic news. So yeah, diplomacy from the temple. Diplomacy from being able to chuck a bird at a rabbit. Good. <laughs> Which apparently endears people to you. They're probably thinking, don't chuck that bird at me. I'll be your friend. I can't think of any other reason at all why being a falconer would give us diplomacy there. Oh, well. Uh, Saint Hilarion. Great news. Thank you. I don't know who the fuck that guy is. Not really one of my... I will admit, not, not the top vassal that I wanted to improve relations with. But hey. Um, beggars can't be choosers. Particularly when we're trying to make as many friends as possible. What do the council think of us right now? Four fucking pragmatists, two glory hounds. Well, that's annoying because I did actually want to go to war for this guy. Um, Force vassalization, con conquest. Oh, they're actually up for it. Despite the fact that, yeah, so the two glory hounds are against it. Pragmatists are up for it, though, because it's actually part of our domain, or should be. Should we do it? I mean, we would have to contend with this suzerain, the spineless of Alexandria, who is powerful, but really not that powerful. And to be honest, oh, I love the fact that they've done custom items, uh, icons. Again, it was really unnecessary. They didn't have to do it. But the fact that they have is just that, like, a nice little bit of effort to make it feel a bit more... Makes the world feel a lot more alive. That's the issue with some of the other off-map mods. They just reuse all the China stuff, and it's like, okay, we've seen all this before. And I know that it's technically identical in probably terms of stats and in terms of code itself. 
but it does feel like a nice little bit of polish to it that, that was completely unnecessary. Speaking of which, Conquest of Chandex for a little bit of polish on my mighty and powerful realm. Kill them all. How many troops do they have, Percy? I didn't even check. Um, I was going to say, if they've got like 2,000 plus the other guy who has 2,000, might be in a lot of trouble there. If you'd have asked our opinion, thank you very much. We don't need it, but we might as well. In fact, we might actually, at this stage, want to... Oh, look. Loyalists. Loyalists, wherever I look. Oh, he's already a loyalist, isn't he? Um, it's good. This is some good shit. What about now? Uh, how long till we can change the laws again? What are we looking at? Two more years. Got to remember to keep staying on top of that, because I think we can definitely do it with this character. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. I hate that you have to spend money every time you declare war with that. It's such a garbage system. We don't need it. Well, we actually, actually, we might need it. Oh my god, I didn't put any commanders on it. Okay, I could have, could have done with burning an ox there. I think we'll also bring some other troops over just to come and help out with the last little bit of this war. They drop. Oh, the bitch. Is Susan actually did come to war with us? I wasn't expecting that. Okay, we've got more than enough troops to be able to stop him from our personal domain now, so that's working pretty well for us. Right, let's get these guys merged. Uh, hopefully they'll attach to us, and then we can get them on our lovely boats. Can you get on our boats? You can't get on our boats. That's okay. Um, I thought they did yesterday, but I, I still am not entirely sure that's a, um, a mechanic that's even in the game. Right, okay. Done. 21, 19. Obviously, we've got that incredibly good commander trait from yesterday where we gained the 10% movement speed. I mean, it's so good. That plus aggressive leader as well. Our damage is absolutely nuts right now. We could kill this guy dead. Count of Siwa. Um, 24 versus minus 4. It's probably about the only character that we can probably wipe out there. Get him killed. Little bit of sacrifice there too. Very nice. 62%. Play a little bit of ping pong with their armies and then immediately get them back for the war goal. This was good. Again, I'm only doing this. Oh, that's also really nice. The only reason I'm really doing this is because we need the prestige. And this is the cheapest, easiest way to do it. Because there aren't many other targets nearby that are still an island nation. So I would like to stick to that rule of only conquesting island nations. I think that's a nice little interesting spin on things. There we are. 454. Look, we only need 500 to be able to reform it. So that was definitely worthwhile. Okay. Now we've got to sit here and pay off these... Hideous, hideous debts that we've accrued by raising boats for five minutes. Okay, so Island's 12. We can now decide whether or not we want to keep Virgo or scrap it. I mean, it's one stewardship for free, but you've got to bear in mind it pisses off everyone else who also has a star sign. So I'm going to say no. She's going to be queen. It's like, do we want to trade minus 10 opinion with everybody or, you know, mostly everybody? Or do we want to take a free stewardship? I think we'll drop it. Should not let the stars dictate her future. I agree. Bang on. Um, she's also got brooding, which is great, because that could become just. If we can get just, we could potentially give it to her. She's going to be an insanely good character. I have really, really high hopes for her as well. Especially because she's got some intrigue. She's going to be our murder king. <gasps> what the hell did I just agree to? We didn't get... Oh, we didn't actually get Kinslayer for that. Why? <laughs> we just killed our own son and they don't give a fuck. Do you not get Kinslayer for killing bastards? That was the event. That must have been the event. I just clicked it without completely thinking. Um, that's the event where the Mysticos comes to you with your Spymaster and is like, oh, a bastard cause a lot of trouble. I just went ahead with it because I saw the other option was gain honest. Uh, well, I guess we don't really, maybe because we're Hellenic, they don't give a fuck about kin slaying. I mean, that would be a lot of sense given, you know, the pantheon itself. All right. Uh, we'll trade 75 prestige to try and win this guy over because he really does not like us at all. Um, we could stick him on the council, but we've already got so many loyalists now. How are we looking in regards to that? One loyalist. Oh, well, they were fucking loyalists for five bloody minutes. God damn it. Actually, in hindsight, one of the big reasons they're loyalists is because we've got so much bloody land. Um, oh, right, because we've got the temples. We can just get rid of those. That should solve a lot of issues. There we are. Um, I'd like to hold on to that as well. But as we picked up Limnos, we could give Limnos away. If we give it quickly to account and then shuffle him under, like, this duchy here, hopefully then we'll test our theory about whether or not... Have we got, like, a living member of our dynasty I could give some land to? We'll test our theory about whether or not they can... Um, is it Limnos? It was Limnos. Whether or not they are allowed to join... Maybe they are just can't join the Confederacy anyway. Become that Jute level title. Otherwise, it's another Elector, isn't it? Boom. He's all yours. Four out of four. That should hopefully flip some people back to Loyalists again. Because we're no longer over domain size. At least we're not significantly over domain size. Nope. They're being bitches. Okay. Fuck you all. You're all getting sacked. I can't believe this guy as well isn't a Loyalist. Dick. Um, you that's what we're after. Good, good man. My good man. Um, okay, that's about all we've got, unfortunately. How are we looking? So now we've only really got to buy one favor at a time to get the deciding vote. So that's going to save us a bit of cash. Oh, there we are. Back, back up to three. Right. Let's push a, let's push a law through as soon as possible. Should really stop doing that because we are not making prestige fast enough to be able to counter out that. Okay. Uh, next up, execution. What do we mean for this one? Absolute tribal organization or execution sovereignty. Then after that, war declaration, which will allow us to get 
whatever that whenever we want prestige when we want to push for a claim somewhere uh are there any sort of weak independent nations we could go for i mean i am looking at northern africa thinking this is probably the only place we go for look at the size of fucking israel wow nakman ben david what's he got in his backpack Splint Mail, Crown of Pearls, Ruby Scepter, Golden Sword. What about Jerusalem proper? Third Temple. Oh, that's quite cool. That's a nice little reference. Very nice. Uh, wow, yeah. Why don't we take a look around the world, see what this is exactly going on. How's Britannia doing? They're the ones that, uh, as we've seen before, obviously we did play as Britannia in the... Oh, again, this is cool. Unnecessary, but very cool. We played as Britannia in our... In, in after the end, the, the, the American one. Jeffrey Tudor. Oh, God. That's cool. And obviously, we've seen Thalama before. I assume it's identical to the other one. Isn't can exist no religious set. It'd be cool if there was like a queen, like an off-map queen somewhere. Okay. R war and rumors of wars. Troubling rumors have been coming west in recent years. Speaking of two great empires in the Far East that are fighting, finally going up to settle the centuries-long grievance with each other. Rumors speak of these two realms as China and Siberia. And claim that the two have been constantly feuding for hundreds of years. Whichever the result of this war, it's likely that the complete destruction of the loser. I bet that Siberia will lose and be forced to come here. I bet that China will lose and be forced to come here. I want to see what they've done with China. So this is a game toggle, by the way. It's a game option toggle at the start. Where you can choose whether or not to uh, for it to be random. Or whether you can choose. And I thought I would choose just so that we can see what they've done with that. And I think it would be kind of interesting to see if they've done anything special with China. Let's do it. So I assume now, in a few years' time, we'll get a Chinese invasion. Probably on the east side of the map somewhere. On Kuth. You shit. Well, okay. Um, Give a uh, ambitious as well. Look at this. Oh, she got brave. We literally just saw that flip over to brave. Incredible. 16 Marshall at the age of Babby. This is so good. Okay. Ah, oh, there we are. Here we are. Wings of a dragon. It would seem that the Great War in the East is finally over and Siberia stands victorious. The Great Emperor of China has been shattered. Now Siberian sits upon the dragon throne, having declared himself founder of a new dynasty and the possessor of the Mandate of Heaven. As he prepares his armies for a decades-long task of pacifying the countryside and consolidating his rule, large sections of the defeated Chinese army, nobility, and peasantry have chosen to migrate west to escape the chaos. Though reduced in size since their defeat, this force is still very large with a hardcore of professional soldiers reinforced by refugees and desperate men trying to find lives for themselves, punch the microphone, and their families. That's not, that's not part of the event. Though only a remnant of its former greatness in the Empire in Exile could prove a great threat to its neighbours. Grand Premier Mu, Lan, Mu Yan Lin of the Mu Empire. Yeah, look at that. Eternal Flame. He's the Heavenly Jade Chairman, ruler of the New Divine Order of All. Once a man, the Chairman ascended to Godhood to protect China from the event. Leaving behind his teachings in the Red Book for them to follow. Oh, cool. That's, that's really cool. Strongly believe that an obligation to the Jade Chairman's influence to the rest of the world. So they are... Hyper Maoists, then. Fantastic. The Heavenly Jade Chairman. God names are the people, the Crimson Host of Heaven, the Harmony, and the Party. Dislike the group of all Crushed Heaven America. Scripture's a little red book. Interesting. And they are an oligarchic republic. Makes a lot of sense. Wow. Okay. I'm, I'm really impressed that they've done something else with that rather than just being a standard sort of Confucianism. Leading Nations of the Home Losses will sing their name. We can now play as them. Oh, that's really cool. We can flip over to China and be an unlanded invader. Okay, I need to stop the ones who lost the war. Let's see what they got up to then. That seems like it could have some really, really interesting effects. They're starting to invade here. When you guys... Oh, they're, the... they're worshippers. They're already on the map, technically, of the Chinese religion. Interesting. And they're also Han as well. The Mongols worship. What does that say? Uh, Khanist? Temujin, Tengri, Erlik Khan. Uh, Erlik Khan, the traitor, the Red Menace. Wow. Monument. Oh, no. Um, can we afford this? This is going to be really expensive. 9.37. We've only got 215. Well, luckily, we've still got a few years before we can pass. We've still got three years before we can pass our next law. So, we haven't really got to save up for buying favors or anything right now. So, let's do it. I know a craftsman that has the skill. 112 gold immediately dumped away. Fine. We do want to build the stone quarry if we get the opportunity to. Oh, fuck. 300. Oh, no. Uh, another successful holy war. 333. Or we just import it. Why not? We, we're only going to get this option once, and it lasts for 80 years. It g generally tends to run dry before then. I think it's on a ruler's death. It also ends. Let's do it. Compensate the families for the loss. We don't want cruel after we spent so much effort trying to make our dynasty beloved. And we've succeeded in doing so. I want to maintain that. Excellent. 380 gold down the shit. a massive settlement. Oh my god, they actually did it. There we are. The Mu Empire have landed. They've still got their 53,000 men spawn troops, and they are Eastern feudal. So that's your Chinese... Uh, Chinese uh, Imperial... What is it called in the base game? Maybe it's called just Chinese Imperialism. Cool. Um, excuse me? Huh. The Red Death. Oh. Oh, no. 
Uh, remember what I said yesterday? We should go to hospital. Fuck. What? What is a red death? Is that just the? Is it just the plague? Just the plague. I hope so. Well, I don't hope so because that would be horrible. Red death. Uh, the red death is health minus seven, so it's the same as the plague. Okay then. Um, panic. Are we gonna be able to get? Uh, oh yeah. What have you got, Scorpio? Fuck it. Yeah. Goodbye. Um. Oh no, it's already here. I was going to say, do you think we'll be able to get enough gold to build a hospital in time? Big fuck. <laughs> One moment you're shivering, next you're sweating over all, you're feeling awful. What's our health? Five. Oh, God. We, are, we haven't finished the tower. We're not going to get into a shitload of debt and not finish this fucking tower. Oh, Christ. Um. Oh, court physician, where the fuck are you? Why aren't you tending to us? No valid candidates? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is Bad news. Fuck, 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 fuck. Big oof. Um, join me, join me, join me, join me, join me. Boethios. Yep, great. 12 learning. <gasps> Recruit this pilgrim. He's okay. He can mystically alter us. Yeah, get in here. Treat me, brother. Try something new, I insist. Mystically alter me, brother. Make me whole. Fuck. <laughs> no, you would not. Please let me finish the tower first. Let me inherit. Please. Oh, she's done. Oh, she came out really well. She got inspiring leader. Okay, 24. Fucking good. Stay alive. Regretful, although understandable. Don't die on me. Don't you die on me. How is she still alive? Minus four. Minus three. Minus seven. What's she got? Minus to zero. I didn't know you could go into. I, th I thought you could go into minus health, but zero is zero. Oh, the one person died. Oh my god, they died and they gave us a shitload of gold. It was our husband. Nice. Um. Oh, no. Live. Threaten the vassal. <laughs> Threaten the vassal. I'll come over there and give you a hug if you don't fucking behave. Come on, live. <gasps> Another person died. We got a shitload of gold again. If I didn't have pigeons, my son Falkland's died. She's living. That's This is all that matters. Ireland, stay strong. Game over. Game over? What do you mean, game over? <laughs> what do you mean? She was going to be elected. Game over? I don't know. I don't know why. Corsica. Corsica's always doomed by the looks of it. Pamagusta tribe don't really care. Okay, please, court physician. Hurry, please be good as well. Come on, because we can't invite him to court. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's a possessed moron. Well, he's better than nothing. They're all dying. Uh, chased, I guess, is probably better. Um, fuck. This is horrible. This is actually horrible. Oh, no. You would not do this to me. You would not. Mal Malefic. Okay, let me still try. Don't do this. <gasps> she's... She, okay, she's good. She's good. Fever. Excellent idea. So what did she get? She got like... on. Okay, she's good. She's good. She's good. Just don't die. Just don't die. Simple, idiot. Just don't die of the plague. It's not that, it's not that difficult. <gasps> she protects. She attacked. More importantly, she backed. Holy shit, she survived it. So the cool thing is, when you survive the plague, that's it, you're good. It adds a character flag, a little hidden thing to the character to say, this person survived the plague and they're now immunity to the plague from now on. Whether or not we live is another question entirely. 23 fucking martial arts. Sorry, I didn't point this out. Organizer, 10 out of 10 trait. That would also work with this one as well, giving her 20% movement speed overall. Absolutely fantastic. She's got... Uncouth, not very good, we can deal with that. Ambitious, brave, obviously incredible traits. Honest, not so good. 23 fucking martial though. She is truly Ireland the second. An improvement over the first. Okay, um... Christ, okay. Go on, Red Death, what a shocker. Who'd have thunk it? Are we gonna die? Sound investment. I can't believe... Just as we get the money back. Oh, god damn it. Okay, uh... How are we looking? God, this is no valid candidates. Western Europe, Roger Brothers play. Yeah, no shit. You're not sure how it happened, but your skin has returned to a healthy color. My question is, okay, what happens if the builder of the Grand Tower dies? Is that it? If we just fucking shit away all that cash and we've got nothing to show for it? Because that would be a bit crap. Um, oh, never mind. I take that back. We are now an architect. 100 prestige. Holy shit, we've actually done it. Boom. Queen Ireland the Flower. Her successor is great. Both of them are immune to the plague from now on. Oh my god, did none of our kids die? What the fuck? None of them died? Wait. Camp fever? Um, that's the one we... They all survived it. They all survived the plague. Have I not got it set to deadly as well? 
You cannot stop me. Wait, that's the wrong one. Um, major rap Oh, no, no, major epidemics. That is. You cannot stop me. We are the Invincible Dynasty, chosen by the gods themselves. Crusader Kings. I got something for you to crusade, my man. This. Bring it. Fight, fight us if you dare. Okay. That actually works so well. I have no idea how the fuck we've survived this. Um, God, the council's crap, though. Oh, I'm going to have to stack the council with bloody loyalists again. Do you know how difficult that's going to be? So now I'm our Zodiac, so I guess we can try it. Taurus? That's fine. Plus one Marshall. Hey, I'll take it. Lose with diplomacy, but it's not a big deal. I wonder it's a shield maiden. Yeah. Okay. She accepted it. That gives her more personal combat and everything to a permanent trait. Very nice. Pagan opinion plus five. Same religious trait opinion plus 15. That's fantastic. We're going to be able to play as a shield maiden on its character too. I really, really like that. Loot a province. Hey, that I should be doing. Why am I not losing? I always forget that we have the ability to do that. Um, so we've got the choice of something, something must be done. Or we can say, I don't care. Again, why would you ever pick the bottom one? Um, the emperor is always in need of more eunuchs. Take this guy. Oh, a Nigerian envoy has arrived. Greetings to the Honorable Queen Ireland. Having blessings upon thee. I'm Kingsley Kingsley and I've come... Wait, it's Kingsley Kingsley and not the... The guy before that we heard about was like on the run? Okay. Um, take this guy. You have a courtier sent as a eunuch. Yes. Good. Take him. Goodbye, my friend. He nods his head and bows. He gives us an artifact. He gives us a dragon amulet. We already have one, did we not? Oh, no. We didn't because we abdicated. So we took the treasury with him. So that would be... Oh, my God. That would be... um. That was a great specific garbage patch, right? Who died, and then his artifacts went to his children. Fun knows where they ended up then. Well, at least we got it back. I'm not going to do this because uh, I was talking to one of the developers who said that we had a beta Israeli guy on our court, which is like a new culture type. And that guy was giving us a shitload of... Although I imagine he's probably dead at this stage, right? He's probably gone a long time ago. Um, we lose all civil unrest. We lose 100 prestige, which still we still have the 500. Spell Jews, we lose a, a tax modifier and diplomacy. Do it. Okay. I'm going to do it just because it means we don't have to deal with rebellions or anything like that. But I don't think it would be a good idea to try and launch the legend with this character, even if we get up to that level, because she's already 50. So doing that would be a waste of time. But we can now inspire warriors. War sacrifice is kind of relevant, because of course we've already got a sacrifice mechanic added to our religion. Um, and we've got the bloody bull thing as well, so it's going to cost us a fucking fortune. She's no longer stressed. I suppose surviving the plague would be a massive relief, wouldn't it? Shame about all the bodies everywhere. Hey, nice. The Arts and Workshop paid off. A little bit of a gamble, but hey, we're back out of debt now then. Okay, what do our vassals think of us? I need to put all the bloody effort in now, making everyone like us again. Um, you don't like us. Can I give you like a six out of five? Um, what have I picked up that I could give to this dude then? What have we inherited? Oh, a tribe? Oh, I don't want to give that one away. Fine. Um, five out of five. Yeah, we can hold our domain now. Why do you not like me then, chief? Female ruler. Well, fuck you. Title claimant is a minus. Oh, so we've got a claim on Rodos. I'm happy to give that up. I, I would I would genuinely, like, not bother with that. Oh, well. Okay, whatever. Um, we send him a gift. Might shut him up. 24 gold. Not too bad. 15. Oh, what's wrong with you today? I assume you want to sit on the council. Oh, he's zealous. He's a different religion. Uh. Okay. Oh, he's already on the council. Yeah, we need to start. Definitely need to start proselytizing as soon as possible. Only a few more months and then we can potentially change war declaration and then straight up abolish the council power. I'm still not sure if we would be able to... If we're going to be able to pull this off with one character. It's going to be very, very, very close if we can. Except Dimitri's challenge. Start pouring already. Oh god, don't be a drunkard. 25 prestige, I'll take it. Um, everyone's opposed to it and we don't have the gold to start swaying people. Can we... I'm just going to invite a bunch of people to court. See if we can get some uh, loyalists again. So, honestly, any rank besides Diplomat is fine to invite to court. Let's see if we can dig up here. Um, wow, holy shit. Alexander, the Duke of Macedonia, is that intentional? Look at his traits. I have a feeling he could be part of the loose... Of I have a feeling he could be... Look at that. My God, man. 37 fucking Marshall. Brilliant strategist, genius, strong, wrath, ambitious, adept of strategy, warrior, war focus, unknown sources. Oh, so the blessing of Belial, basically. Interesting. Holy shit, that guy's unstoppable. Right, join court? Yes. Okay, this will do. This will do it. Right to court. And they're going to be just incredibly better commanders as well. So, actually, they're just going to be insanely good members to... Oh, look, this guy's our religion, and he's got 19. All right, there's the proselytization right there. Falklands didn't come out too badly. 19 Marshall. I say 19 Marshall as if that's a bad thing. That's obviously incredibly good. For a backup air? Incredible. Right, okay. We've got a daughter on. She doesn't like us, though. She does like us. She's our rival, but she's also got like 81 opinion, which makes no fucking sense. Um, right, be gone. 
Be gone. Look at this council now, though. My god. You start proselytizing, please, as soon as you possibly can. You, I need to stop focusing on Crete. I keep looking over there, expecting it to do something. Um, you train some troops, because we do need to go and siege. And then, yeah, build spine network. That's fine by me. Um, right, okay. Hopefully, over time, we can flip these guys. Sorry? Hopefully, over time. Oh, for fuck's sake. We can flip these guys over to loyalists, too. Shouldn't take much effort. Oh, damn it. He was such a good spy master. Why did I even bother doing this? Oh, there we go. The play's gone now, for God's sake. Right, now I'm going to invite them all back over here again. So annoyed. Oh, we had some really bloody good characters. Now they're all fucking dead. Uh, um, sort by opinion, just invite the highest opinion characters to court. Actually, not a bad idea if we're trying to go for loyalists, don't forget. All right, fuck it. Get him on board. Crusade for the Papal States? Uh, okay. Fine, he's trying to take back some land then in Rome, I assume? He absolutely is. Look at that. Interesting. What was that? Apostolic Palace. Uh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, interesting. So trying to rebuild the kingdom. Is that the same? I was going to say, is that the same as your borders that you have in, in the base game? But... Roughly is. Basically just the Duchy of Lassium, right? Okay, there's Christian Heathens. What are the empires? I've not actually checked any of the empires, have I? He's got the Kingdom of Italia. That one's quite cool. Um, we've got Switzerland. Is it going to be just like modern day borders? It absolutely is. Except for apparently France, which has been shit on somewhere. Okay. Uh, oh, Empire of France here. Right. They've, somehow Brittany is independent as well. What does that count as these days then? As Britannia. Okay, that does make some sense given the, the cultural flip. So this is about Celtic culture. Um, Britannia now, apparently. Right, okay. Um, what are you part of? Hang on. Uh, what are you part of? Doggerland is part of the Empire of Scandinavia. Makes a lot of sense as well. This is cool. And I, again, I, I imagine a lot of the borders are analog to current modern borders, given that obviously it is a, a post-apocalyptic one here. And then this empire of... Maybe this is just back to the Byzantine Empire? Oh, it's the Ottoman Empire. Oh, wow. I imagine that there's probably a cultural... Uh, equivalent. Oh, cannot create empires. Interesting. Oh, might be because we are confederacy, though. Um, I was going to say, this probably is a Greek cultural equivalent of that. And again, I be bet it probably is the Byzantine Empire. Interesting. So we've got some choices. But again, Atlantis is uh, is still the one on the cusser. Israel are going absolute fucking butt wild. What's the... Uh, what's that one, then? Arabian Empire. Very similar to the base game as well. Let's marry off our daughter. Before I forget. Matrilineally, preferably. Um, powerful would be what we're after here. What have we got? That's a strong kid. Polyphemus. Uh, strong. It's basically it. What is that? A, sorry, a what? Oh, Latagian Guard. Oh, that's the Varangians, isn't it? I remember. Uh, the equivalent of the Varangian Guard, anyway. Um, strong but ugly. Not really what we're after here. Let's see if we can dig up a powerful character somewhere from the depths of this fucking realm. Oh, dear. Character finder was not happy with the end. Right, powerful. There is someone. Okay, join court. Let's just see if there are any join court. Yes, this guy. Yeah, I'm going to invite him. Um, and then we'll see if there is Diplo NGS ruler. No. Join court any. Uh, 71 year old dude. Not really what I'm after, I'll be honest with you. Oh, actually, try powerful again, moron. I would prefer men married. No. I would prefer someone with minus touched as well. Just because it would give us the higher chance of kids. Um, stewards, that's unfortunate. Alright, fuck it. We'll stick with the guy that I've just invited then. Hopefully he wasn't married. I don't think I even bothered to check that. He's not. Oh, good work. Okay. Matrilineal to her. We'll lose 99. This is son of a count. So lose 99 prestige. It's worth it just for just for the attempt at the trait. And he's got 30% fertility bonus from that too. Wait, what? <laughs> so this guy conquested. They did a papal crusade for the papal states, but this guy won it and kept the title. So now we've got a king of the papal states who's not the pope. Cursed infidels. Well, that's confusing. Um. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. We skipped forward. We could potentially do the legendary gathering. Oh, yikes. That's going to be dangerous to pull it off with our current character. And I have a feeling our daughter... Our daughter's in the society as well. As a member of the companion. That's why she's got a black eye there. Um, great pox. Got fucking syphilis? Really? Man of your talents? Okay. That's a bit annoying, but that's all right. Um, maybe we should try the gathering. Worst case scenario, we carry it on with our daughter. We might potentially be able to get there. All right. Let's give it a go. Um, oh, everyone's on boats. Right. What, what are we supposed to be... Oh, that's why I want to go and loot this province very quickly. I need to remember that we can loot more. We go for like, um, these are orthodox, right? Oh, you're Hellenic? Uh, you're Hellenic as well. We go for Jerusalem. Or just go for some of the provinces around Israel, because they've got a shitload of gold. Nice. 200 renown and 102 gold means that we can now do the legendary gathering. It might be a bit risky. Um, that's not a point right in here, given that there are way more valuable targets out there. Like I said, I mean, Israel is incredibly powerful. We could go and knock down some of their castles. I want to go visit the Pope, because he's got those bones of St. Peter that oh, we did. Well, he's lost now, apparently. Um, what have you got? Ooh, hello. Virgin Crown of St. Catherine. 
Oh, religious group Christianity, damn it. That one we could take, though. Toscana Crusader Warhammer for a decent weapon for us. Take the Crusader armor as well. That we can wear, even if we can't wear his fancy helmet. Sure, there's going to be plenty of gold around here as well, just, just sort of uh, kicking around below the loot bars. We've really got nothing. Oh, the plague, right. Now's probably not the best time for raiding, but we might as well. Seriously, my acute budget death minus one gold allowed a smuggler's ring to appear. Is that how fucking delicate the economy is on our damn island? Oh, nice. Okay. Allow the companions to grow in numbers. Very, very good. Legend Mario is going to take a very, very, very long time to fill up. So chances are we'll be able to play as our bloody... That was our daughter then for a second. We'll be able to complete it as our daughter anyway. So that's okay. Right. Even if we do die, either we'll do it with her and get the bloodline. And then pass it down matrilineally. Or... We'll get it with the daughter anyway, so it's win-win. Right, we'll go pay a visit to the Pope as well, seeing as we're in the neighborhood. Can't believe how much potential I've missed out on by forgetting the fact that we could go raiding. All those times I spent trying to, you know, business folks or whatever to get the gold. What a fucking waste, huh? What a waste. Um, hunt and focus. Try and keep her alive for a little bit longer. And that also buys us a little bit more time to potentially allow our daughters to climb up the ranks as well. So, okay. How are we looking? Rome's got a shitload of gold. Oh, my God. 181? Why have I not been doing this sooner? Uh, it's because I was a bit, I was completely fried by the fact that we were a vassal, don't forget, under an orthodox character, so we weren't allowed to raid before, and I, I don't know why, that just settled in my mind that, okay, we can't raid, even though that now with the head, we've been able to do it for like three generations now, never mind. There we go, Falklands is also recruiting these champions, to be honest, I should do that with everybody. Uh, oh, you can't, because you're a, oh god, did I forget to educate him. She's coming out well, diligent and patient, what the hell? Okay, another really good potential daughter there, 13 intrigue, I mean... Diligent and patient basically guarantees... No, it doesn't really guarantee. I shouldn't say that. But it's very, very likely that she'll get the level 4 education from that too. In fact, why don't we educate her? Why don't we take over? Or we could give it to our daughter to educate. But we've got Shrewd, so that should help out a little bit. And we've got Brave as an intervention trait. Nice work. Gains fatigue. We've got the strange chest from Rome. Very good. To be filled with all sorts of... <laughs> like, like black magic books and things like that. That's all right. Just cracked open the vault of the Vatican and unleashed the devil himself. Are you a fool? We had the flu and he just... That's worse. We're now civilian. That's fucking worse. 655 gold, though. Yeah, fuck your deficit. That's what I was thinking. Oh, we can dedicate another temple. Absolutely, I'll do that. Um, or we can wait until... No, actually, that's not. Let's wait until we play as our next character and then de dedicate a temple after that. The Chief of Crete. Um, we can make that give it away to one of our dynasty members. Not much point. And there's obviously not much point holding it for ourselves as well because we just piss off our vassals again. Very cool. How close is that legend bar? I think we're going to die before we get to do it. But again, I think our successes will be able to do it. So that doesn't matter either. I want to get as many of them into the, the guild as possible. So they can all die on the journey. Not bad. Not bad to say that we only took over our education very later on. Um, skilled tactician. Fine. She's, she's not great. Obviously, we've got plenty of other better backup pairs. What do you want? Recruit your child. Welcome. Join me. Who's this? Oh, we can recruit Corsica. Oh, apparently got his ass handed to him, though. Well, never mind. So our daughter's a loyalist, despite the fact she's our rival. That makes perfect fucking sense. Um... Put a lot of landed characters on the council, which is unfortunate because they are going to be a little bit more expensive to buy favors from here. Okay, let's get those two in immediately. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's our daughter plus these two. It means that we should be able to get another vote. We can almost abolish the council here then. Call in, call in. Oh, let's go for war declaration. Very nice. And then all we've got is the easy ones. So we've, t we've, we've got all the power. Centralization doesn't really give us any more power rather than just gives us a bit more land management. Nice. And now all we've got to do is abolish. How long? Five years. I don't know if she'll live that long, but we'll get a goddamn good go. But to some extent, this wasn't a bad choice of capital, because the amount of gold that we could pick up from our neighboring neighboring friends here. Uh, Castle Town, yeah, let's go for that one. And then in the duchy south of us, can we afford another Castle Town? Oh, not quite. I want to build more troop count just from our capital here, too. That'd be quite nice. Although, we've already got a decent amount of troops from our capital there. Do we need this many boats? We don't really need that many boats. In fact, can we hire just... I'll take just our vassal boats with us, because that way we can... Uh, we can get them to foot the bill and make all the profit from the raiding. Sure, they might be pissed off very slightly. And the second the opinion starts to drop, we'll uh, swap things around a little bit here. Excuse me. Select the fucking boats. Thank you. In game. Let's do it. Oh, they're on a rebellion as well. That was perfect timing. Okay. Uh, economy map mode. What have we got? Look at how rich they are. Hebron especially. Like, this this coast is going to be just a gold mine for us. It's just going to be an absolute gold mine for us. Uh, smuggler, smuggler's ring? Again? Another one? Seriously? Okay. What have you got? Oh, fuck. That was a bad play. That was a really, really unfortunate timing on where to land. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? You shit. Well, we couldn't have known that because they raised their troops just as we started to land. That sucks. Well, we can kind of top ourselves back up to where we were before. Not a big deal. i got to remember to mark them all as raiders, though. All right, here we are. Round two. Let's try that again. We'll wait for them to move this time. Perfect. Hello. Oh, we can fucking just knock all this stuff down. <gasps> 
Ah, oh, strange chest is empty. Off to the dungeon with these pit people to ransom out is obviously quite nice as well. How much gold is kicking around here then? Oh, shitload. Let's just stand here and... Now, oh, well, that was an interesting choice of army to attack. Uh, well, you've got no morale, really. You're going to keep doing it? Fine. Fine. We'll take it. We'll just take whoever the hell we can imprison from that then. What are they doing? Why are they doing this? They're actually going to win this time around by the looks of it. Oh my god, what? Been captured by the armies of Queen Matrona the Jew. I feel like that nickname is kind of irrelevant. Yes, the Jewish Queen of Israel is in fact a Jew. She released us. She took my fucking dragon amulet. You are a cunt. Right, that's it. Your entire, li your entire family line destroyed. Your ancestors, I would destroy them. You are a... Oh, that's annoying. That has fucking annoyed me. I can't believe you do that. I just wanted to take your shit. You can't, you can't reverse it on that like me, brother. Thank you all for watching. I suppose I should put an end to this video at some stage. I could genuinely sit here and play this all day because we've got so much shit to do. There's like so much potential here. Thank you all for watching though. Let's give a shout out to our insane top tier level patrons. Before I do that, actually, I will remind you that there are links to... The Reddit, the Paradox Plaza, and the Discord for this mod. It's going to be another three days, I think. I don't remember. Obviously, I'm recording this in a weird time. So, look, soon you will be able to get your hands on this. And a thank you as well goes out to our insane top tier level patrons of the day, including Harry McGowan, Odie, Iguana Squad, Michael Mullen, Silkworm, Skaz, William Green, Nostrus, Bacon Kitten, Shay, Tyler Kendall, Lucas, and everyone else at the insane top tier level was on patreon thank you guys for your support thank you for supporting the channel to the extent you have as well keep an eye on the patreon over the next couple of days whenever i get it edited there will be a behind the scenes video for my other secret project you guys have seen a very brief amount for this one's a bit more detailed though so keep tuned stay tuned keep watching one or the other whichever you feel like really thank you as well to joseph beer why is the game immune to get out of here Thank you as well to Joseph Beer, Seth All the Sweet, Rob Girth, Sweetie, Nick, Meow Volcano, Better Balloon, Silent Sentinel, Corgi Circus, Mythomatic, Cody Cope, Tempe, Night Rouge, Kevin Saunders, Distorted Triangle, and everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you guys for your support. See you all tomorrow for this confederacy. I've said it every day. We are going to unify it tomorrow. Mark my down words.